You know, it's funny, the last video where I was discussing these best franchises, I got some flack from some of our viewers because I didn't give any really solid examples of what best franchises actually are. So I'm going to try and do better on this video. But in my defense, what really is this best franchise? It's completely subjective. And that's why in the last video I didn't mention any names because I couldn't. And to do so is completely impossible. It's exactly the same as uh, if I were to ask you, what's the best car? Depends on your situation. You wouldn't want a Lamborghini to go four-wheeling or to take your kids to sports. And it's the exact same for franchising. Every person, every location, every budget, every situation is different. So which one could be the best? But let me break down some individual examples of what a best franchise might mean for you. And guys, thumbs up on this one, okay? Now we, find, we found that there's varying top priorities that people seek in a franchise. And depending on what these priorities are, your best franchise choices are going to be completely different. And these priorities are as follows. Passive or absentee ownership, high earnings, exit strategy and resale, lifestyle business, low cost or driven by budget, and number six is lowest risk. And these six categories have several or even hundreds of franchise choices within each category. And from an overall perspective, most people are going to find their best franchise choice in one of these six categories. Now, obviously, we're not going to have time to cover every single one of them because there's hundreds, but we are going to look at industries within each group that are going to be best suited for your goals based on these criteria. Now, depending on which of those are important to you, your best choices are going to be different. Not to mention, most people have no idea how much franchises actually make. They just go to the big names thinking that they pay the big bucks. Not true. In fact, it's exactly the opposite. So let's break down these six categories one by one. So to start off, number one is passive investment. And some people, they don't want to work in the franchise or can't work in the franchise because they have another existing job where they may run another business. It might be a celebrity or an investor group. Obviously, these people don't want to work behind the counter. So they need a business that will allow for this passive or absentee ownership. Now, keep in mind, these will not be your highest money makers because you also need to hire this additional senior management in your place to run your store. Now, many people are under the mistaken impression that every single franchise can be run passively or semi-absentee. That's not true. In fact, many franchises have clauses that actually require you to be actively involved in the operation of the store. So from a purely passive ownership perspective, some of the best franchise choices are hair salons, certain types of restaurants, automotive repair is also good, and body shop centers, uh, certain learning and tutoring centers are good, health clubs or massage outlets, and assorted business services franchises can also be good. Now these uh, business types also have sufficient margins that allow you to hire this manager and still make a profit. You typically aren't going to make a lot of money from one location with these types of franchises. So the ultimate goal in this case should be multi-unit ownership that you can build up over time, getting several locations. Now that's a good move as well because in a decade, you could own five or 10 locations and sell those off for a nice profit. Now our second uh, criteria is high earnings. Some people, I want to work hard, I want to work long, and I want to make as much money as possible. Now the best franchises for these folks are the ones, of course, that have the highest profits. And these franchises all must provide the owner the ability to directly influence the ability to make these profits. So businesses like restaurants that we just covered are not good because you are completely reliant on walk-in traffic. You have no, uh, little to no control over increasing your revenues unless you buy another location and of course pay more fees. So business to business service type franchises are excellent money makers and have this direct control. These can be a blend of retail and also business to business sales like printing or sign franchises. Service-based like cleaning and painting are also surprisingly solid earners. Senior care can be also very good, but it's becoming saturated in certain areas, so watch out for that. Personnel and hiring companies, uh, very high revenue generators. And one of the franchises we work with has an average of $6.4 million 
per single mature franchise territory. Uh, that's just the average and many are over that number. Now put that in context with a typical Subway franchise, that's 12 times the average earnings of your typical Subway store. And we're going to cover in another video where we had uh, a situation where one franchise owner can be working twice as hard and earning 10 times less than the other person and not even know about that. So for anyone who has marketing, sales, or business-to-business -business type of experience, these B2B type or retail and B2B blend franchises are your best fit if you're looking for that money. Now another really great but little known money maker is master franchising. And this allows you to purchase the rights to a large territory and you sell franchises as well as running and operating your own store. So you share in the collected franchise fees and then the ongoing royalties in this system. And many, many millionaires have been made from master franchising. We work with close to a hundred franchises that currently offer master franchising. Give us a call if you'd like to learn more about those. Now third up, we have exit strategy. Some investors, they have a specific plan. They want to build a business and sell it off in five to 10 years for a profit. There's people who actually do this as a career multiple times. Now, as suggested above, owning multi-units is a good plan for exit strategy. So master franchising, uh, restaurants, retail franchises, or even some service type of franchises like cleaning, painting, or junk removal. If profitable, these business can be sold for several times their original purchase price. These are going to be your best choices if exit strategy is the priority. Now consulting type businesses are terrible for exit strategy. So if this is your goal, keep to traditional business models that are easily understood by buyers and can be easily resold. So your painting, your retail, your cleaning, these very basic operational models. Now number four, we have lifestyle franchises. And a lot of people don't have money or exit strategy at the top of their priority list. They just want a business they can enjoy working at every day and make a decent living. So choices in this case are going to vary from person to person, but usually these franchises involve the life passion the investor may have. So franchising has a lot of great choices in that regard, like pet grooming, or pet boarding where you can be around animals all day. Uh, if you like helping kids or being around kids, tutoring or kids health franchises are a great fit. Health clubs or gym franchises are a great fit if you're into fitness and that whole lifestyle. They can also be very profitable as well. Certain retail franchises can be fun like your coffee shops or your smoothie or frozen yogurt, although we do caution people in this respect because that particular industry has taken quite a beating over the past few years. Senior care can be a lifestyle business for someone who has a passion for helping seniors in their community. And the earnings in senior care can also be quite impressive depending on your location. Make sure it's not saturated. Travel planning as well, if you like travel, can be a great choice which is going to bring us up to number five, which is low cost franchises. Now, if somebody has a limited budget, their best franchise is going to be the one that offers the most for the lowest price. Be cautious, however, in this segment, because this is the arena where a lot of scammers reside that offer little to no real viable business model. Now, some of the sectors that we like for low cost or work at home type franchises are travel planning. And for around $10,000, you can become a travel planner, work from anywhere in the world, on your laptop, helping people with their travel plans. And many people can actually generate a six-figure income in this business. If you've got a business background, or business consulting or coaching can be very profitable and great from a return on investment perspective. Many of these franchises have low investment amounts under $50,000. They can be operated from home, have low overhead, and uh, oftentimes very high margins. Now within that group as well, we have specialty consulting franchises, such as a cost reduction franchise, where you help companies save money on telecom or billing costs, or energy consulting is very popular today, where you help these companies save money on their energy. Now, these are all cash businesses. There's no inventory. Uh, low margins can be very profitable. And one franchise that we work with 
shows 25% of their owners generating over $650,000 a year with only a $50,000 investment. Now, medical billing is also a very hot one right now. Uh, you help the doctors in their billing. This investment's about $25,000, and you can recoup your money with only one client. And finally, let's wrap it up with number six, low-risk franchises. This is very interesting. There's actually franchises that provide safety nets to people who are extremely risk averse, but they still want to own a franchise. So they'll provide the owner with a salary during startup, they buy all the equipment, and even in some cases offer a money back guarantee if the business is not successful. Now these perks come at a cost, however. Uh, you'll typically be paying half your royalties to the franchise. There's always a trade-off in every situation, but these, if you're very risk averse, make a good option. So as you can see, depending on your business goals and your situation, there's many different choices for these best franchises. If you'd like to discuss any of these franchises further or to see which are available in your territory, give us a call. Consultations are always free. Or visit our franchise directory. Directory. I'll put the link right here above. Click that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.